Oh no. Uh, edit. Edit com CS2 bang. Oh, this is juice. This paragraph. Say. Okay, let's finish this. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm farming clips. We're farming clips. Renew, thank you so much for, for the 10 months, my man. Did you buy a knife? Where'd you get a knife, Crixer? Why is your steam fucked? What's going on? All right. So the sources explained that the creation of the game had been something of a priority for Valve's teams. So we knew this, all right? We knew that they've been working on this for a very long time. We knew, okay? We've known all of this. We've known that this NVIDIA came out with this. Um, official channels come out to the standard radio. Okay, we knew all this. We don't, we, this is the only thing we haven't known is this right here. This March close beta here. Um, the source explained that the creation of the game had been something of a priority for Valve's team. Uh, this, as they said, should explain why some issues with CSGO have been largely unintended to for some time. The big priority is getting this out and then polishing it, fixing any bugs, and bringing it up to the level people expect from CS. Wow, okay. Specific details of the game inclu included that it will, of course, be on the Source 2 engine. A move that should improve the optimization and graphical fidelity of the game that is likely to come at a cost of performance for players with low-end PCs, although Valve historically has always had a philosophy of empowering those with everyday gaming rigs to be able to play their games. Okay. The big question for the community has been whether or not official servers would be 128 tick. Uh, bringing it in line with the rival title Valorant. The sources confirmed that this would be the case and that this feature would likely be ready at the launch of the beta. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. 128. That's awesome. The game is also set to include a much improved matchmaking system with features that is hoped would make the need for third-party pug services unnecessary. Wow. I, you know what? I actually don't, I don't know, dude. I don't know if that's Okay, let's move on. Currently, the community has had to suffer from uneven matchmaking and long times between rankups. Most who want an experience more closely aligned with that of a competitive player are typically advised to sign up for third-party services such as Faceit. These features will be an ongoing work in progress, but the beta will launch with similar matchmaking features that are available in the current version of CSGO. Oh my goodness. The sources explained that the game was about ready to go and had said that it had even already been tested by an unnamed group of professional players that were flown out in secret to Valve's headquarters in Seattle. What? Ooh, I wonder. Wasn't there a little... little like Wasn't like a couple months ago? Didn't they say that... Um... Oh, I don't remember, but I thought that was... People were talking about that, no? Less clear is the future of CSGO in its esports scene. Only Valve can answer intentions about whether CSGO 2 will serve as a direct replacement for CSGO or whether it will exist alongside the older game. Ah, oh, I doubt that. And even players will make a choice of preference as it happened historically since the first version of Counter-Strike was released. It could also be similar to Dota 2 move to Source 2 when the newer version was called Dota 2 Reborn and ran alongside the original game before a merger that saw improved version became, become the main one. Wrong. Hold on, I'll be right back. Yeah, so in my opinion, it's not going to make it. There's not going to be two versions. It's just going to be a big update. I think I, I've already. I, that's what I think is going to happen, at least. 
Uh, it also begs the question how long the current esports season can continue before tournament operators adopt the newer version, and whether they will have input on what happens on the basis of past versions. There is likely to be a lengthy period of balance and feature overall before the game is fit for competition. We shall add an official of response to receive. Oh my God, what is wrong with him? He's being, he's being fussy. Yeah, he's being a little, he's being fussy, dude. Wow, you know what, man? I okay. So realistically, what have we found out that's new about this that we didn't already know? Like we kind of knew that they were gonna bring in a hundred twenty-eight tick. We kind of knew that they were going to update the matchmaking system. Now, I don't know if it's going to make Face It obsolete. I doubt that. I th we did know that. I think it's literally just the date, the March and the April 1st date. I think that is the big time one. I mean, it's really cool, man. It's really cool if this is like, if this is real, dude. How reliable? That's what I'm saying. Well, this is Richard Lewis. He's been in the scene for a very long time. But here's the thing. Anybody, anybody can just hop on, make a thread and say, oh, my sources are anonymous. You know what I mean? Anybody can do that. I'm not saying Richard Lewis would do that. He's pretty legit. But I'm saying like in reality, anybody could do this. I mean, I frick, I guess we'll have to see, man. I hope they, Val, if you're watching, man, hook me up with the beta code, all right? 